Yesterday, we told you how Spotify was given an ultimatum by Neil Young. Either delete Joe Rogan from your platform or remove Neil Young's music. Now, Spotify has made a decision. They're siding with Joe Rogan and going as far as to grant Neil Young's wish to have his music pulled from the platform. Spotify revealed moments ago that they are, in fact, going to delete Neil Young from Spotify. Yesterday, Neil Young published the letter, which he then deleted a short time later. It's unclear if that was because he withdrew his request to have the songs removed. But nonetheless, Spotify is taking care of that. They said, quote, We want all the world's music and audio content to be available to Spotify users. With that comes great responsibility in balancing both safety for listeners and freedom for creators, Spotify told the Washington Post in a statement. We have detailed content policies in place, and we've removed over 20,000 podcast episodes related to COVID-19 since the start of the pandemic. We regret Neil's decision to remove his music from Spotify, but hope to welcome him back soon. The letter from Young said, quote, I am doing this because Spotify is spreading fake information about vaccines, potentially causing death to those who believe the disinformation being spread by them, he said in a statement to Rolling Stone. Please act on this immediately today and keep me informed of the time schedule. I want you to let Spotify know immediately today that I want all my music off their platform. They can have Rogan or Young, not both. Neil Young's manager told the Daily Beast in the statement yesterday that the issue was related to, quote, something that's really important to Neil. He's very upset about this disinformation. Spotify reportedly signed an agreement with Rogan estimated to be worth more than $100 million a couple of years ago. But ultimately, if they determine to remove Rogan from their platform, Rogan still owns the rights to his podcast and would be perfectly within his rights to launch his own platform. This would, of course, be a major loss for Spotify after it's reported that more than 11 million listeners tune in to Rogan every episode. Despite the efforts to remove him from the platform, it's clear that millions are still very interested in hearing what he has to say. That's your latest update from Rockfeed. Be sure to click the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on future stories. Check out the recommended videos on your screen.